Hey, Jonathan Reichert here. I'm just going to go over uh, a little bit of details on how to play Rhythm Changes, which is level 10 uh, in the fingerstyle section, but I'm going to go over how to play it with a pick uh, for those of you who are not going to play it with your fingers for various reasons. And it's very doable with a pick and it sounds great. Alright, first up in part one, we got this B flat 13. So I'm just going to go over uh, as quick as I can here how I would uh, work with that one. So. My first finger here is nice and flat uh, so that I can block my fifth string, no problemo. My pinky is also a little flat and that's, it's not just barred though, but it's flat so that I'm blocking my first string. So there we go, now we've got the fifth and first string blocked, so if I strum it out I should get a nice B flat 13. And I'm not getting any ugly notes in there. So uh, you can use this approach for all these chords. With the G minor 7 coming up here, we've got 10, 10, 11. My first finger again is a little bit flat instead of being really curvy. And I'm blocking the fourth string. And again, this finger is doing what the pinky was doing before. It's blocking the first string for me. So I got no sound there on my first string. Now if I strum out, I'm only holding three notes. I'm going to do a full strum and I'm blocking three different strings. Uh, the fourth string is also being blocked. So I'm using my first finger to block the top. If you look close, it's just touching the top string a bit and underneath it's touching the fourth string. And there we go, I can get this nice big chord. And I'm strumming the whole guitar, not worrying about which strings I'm playing. And I'm only getting three notes in there, so it's a uh, pretty good mileage for that chord, being able to strum the whole guitar and only have three notes. So we got the B flat with a couple of things blocked. We've got the G minor 7. And then here we go, a little bit tougher now. Uh, people are discussing this one. The C minor 7 with the 8, 8, 8, 8. How do you block those uh, fifth and the first string? Um, it's a little tricky. So I'm going to put my ring finger on first to cover the 888, eight, eight, okay, on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th string. And I'm doing a bit of a curvy thing here so that it's not quite holding flat across the 8s because I want to block the 1st string. So you can work on that, just, just those 3 notes, and see if you can get those 3 notes but also blocking the 1st string. And then I'm going to bridge this finger over top to get our bass note up here on the top string. And then if you look right through the side there, I'm blocking the fifth string. So I'm blocking the first string, blocking the fifth string. And let's see if it works. I should be able to strum the whole guitar, get a nice C minor 7. Nice. And it's actually okay sounding to have the first string in uh, blocked as well. Because that's a C anyway. And we're playing a C up here, so if you put a C down here, it's not going to mark you wrong. So that one, you, know, you get a little bit of uh, grace from musician. There we go. And then the last one for this uh, scene we're on right here is the F9. And again, the F9 is done exactly the same way, but you move it down just a little. So I got fifth string here, 8-8. Eight, eight. And that's another one where you probably won't get penalized by a musician for playing the first string down, but you can try to block it uh, with your ring finger here, depending on how flexible you are, but you got to work on that. And then my top finger is now blocking the sixth string a little, just so that it doesn't ring when I strum all the chords. So uh, if I do it really carefully, you'll only hear, I'm strumming the whole guitar, but we're only hearing those three notes, the 8-8-8. Eight, eight, eight. Okay, so there we go, I gotta work on some string blocking. Whoops. So there's a, a first exercise you can work on, not really an exercise, but just the first four chords of the song, memorize them, 
strum away like that uh, without musicians so that you're not getting frustrated until they're just comfortable. The F minor 7, it's another one just like uh, G minor 7, same exact fingering and technique. So here was the G minor 7 we did before. So same idea there. That covers uh, all the chords in part one. Part two of Rhythm Changes has two little things that are going to be a little trickier to play with the pick, but it's totally doable. Uh, so I'm just going to show you two options for this D7 section here because of what's going on with the walking bass. So we got this 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 thing that has to happen. And when we get to the 10, you want to end up on your ring finger so that you're ready to play this G7. So the way I've been doing this with the pick is to either go the D7 shape and then play thumb and then three fingers grab the other three notes. So that's kind of a chicken picking method. So I go thumb or I go pick and then fingers. And then I do the same for the G7. So I got a D7 chicken picking with my uh, right hand here. Go pick fingers. And then I'm going to walk my way up. Ring finger, ring finger. And then pick fingers again for the G7. So that's a little tricky, but uh, it's a way to do it with the pick. Uh, and the tune does move by quickly. The other way to do it is um, to do a quick down and then an up strum on the chord if you can without interrupting your walking bass there. That's a little tough as well. So both options are tough, but I've tried both and they both work. And so when you get to the, uh, to the G7 chord there, you can do a, a quick down down or a down up. Um, but for the D7, I would do a down, up on the chord, and then continue walking the bass. Here's with the fingers again. You could try a uh, down, down, so down, 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 but that's pretty quick movement, so. That's doable. That's a tough one. And then you're going to just use the same method for uh, the C7. It's the exact same run, just, just starting a little lower. That's with my chicken picking. And then with the strumming. Yo, Davis. Chill out, man. All right, hopefully you found some of that useful. That was kind of the hardest parts of rhythm changes. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any other musician requests uh, or anything to do with the guitar, you can always send me a comment or a message. And uh, please subscribe and share these videos if, with your guitar friends and you can check out the description below and find a link to our facebook group where a lot of other guitarists chat and talk about musician and you can also click the link to go get musician if you don't have it yet so thanks for watching